Hi everyone and welcome to the final video in our series on Gravity Forms Better User Activation. Now that we've gone through the process of registering a single user's account on our website, we're going to go over how you can register multiple users' accounts using a single registration form. Introducing Gravity Forms Nested Forms. This plugin allows us to add a form inside of another form and be able to collect those child entries and attach them to the parent entry on submission. These child entries display in a clean, compact table on the parent form where they can be viewed, edited, or deleted. You can even use nested forms to be a simple Gravity Forms repeater field, which allows you to dynamically add fields to your WordPress Gravity Form. There are so many cases where you might need one form that can register multiple users at a time. You could be maintaining departments and staff at a hospital or a school, or even simply organizing a game that has multiple teams and players. While this might seem like a complicated task, Gravity Forms Nested Forms makes the process rather simple. Let's get started. All right, so to get started, let's head over to plugins on the left side and make sure that we have the Gravity Forms user registration add-on installed and activated. Just in case you forgot, the Gravity Forms user registration add-on allows us to quickly and easily register users on our WordPress website. Next, let's hover over Forms on the left side and click Perks, and then go to Install Perks at the top and scroll down until we see Gravity Forms Nested Forms. Then we can click Install, and then we can click Activate Perk once it's done installing. Once we have both of those installed, we can head over to Forms on the left. Now we're going to create a new form, and this is going to end up being the child form that we have inside of our parent form later on. So we can head up to the top and click Add New, and click Blank Form, and I'm going to call this Team Member. And then click Create Blank Form at the bottom. Now feel free to create this form however you want. I'm just going to add a few simple fields for our team members that include stuff like their name, email, and maybe the make and model of their car. And there we go, a very simple child form that contains information for each of the members on our team. We have their first and last name, email, and we even have the make, model, and year of their car. Now we can go up and click Save at the top right, and then we can hover over Settings and click User Registration. Now we need to set up our registration feed for the child form, so we can click Add New. Feel free to change the name if you want to, but for action, we're going to do create user. And then just like we did in the first video, we're going to go through and map these user settings to the fields that we just created on that child form. So for the username, we're going to click and do email. And it looks like a lot of these other fields are already filled out for us, such as first and last name and email address. For role, we can click this and do subscriber. And we can even set up some user metadata here since we added those fields for make, model, and year of the car. So we could click the key, go all the way down to the bottom, and click Add Custom Meta. And then for the value, select the Make, Model, or Year. Then we can just enter a key, like Make, and we can do this for the other two. And there we go, we have our Make, Model, and Year user metadata that's mapped to the fields that we just added in that child form. Now we can head to the bottom, and we want to make sure we have this User Activation checkbox enabled. This will make it so when we submit the parent form, each of our users that we added in this nested form will each get an email where they can activate their account, just like we did in the previous videos. Now once everything looks good here, we can click Save Settings. Now that we created the child form, we now need to create the parent form that we're going to nest this child form inside of. So we can head back over to Forms on our left, click Add New, do another blank form, and for this one, I'm going to put Car Club Team and then click Create Blank Form at the bottom. So for our parent form, again, feel free to add whatever fields make sense for your use case. For this example, I'll use a single line text, and I'll call it Team Name, and then I'll scroll down and drag over an email, and we'll have that be the Team Email. Now for the fun part. You may have noticed down here in Advanced Fields, we have a new box called Nested Form. This is the field that's going to contain our child form that we just created, so we can drag this over below Team Email. Now the first thing we'll see is this configuration requested. Use the nested form and summary field settings to choose the form and field to display in this nested form field. So we can go up and click settings and give this a name like team members. And then we need to select a nested form from this dropdown. So we can click and do team member. Now we get to choose what elements of our child form are going to be displayed in our nested form. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all of them. I'm gonna click and do name, email, make, model, and year. 
Now we have our parent form with our child form nested inside and we're ready to go to our registration page. Once you have your nested form all set up the way you like, we can head up and click save form. All right, so I just got done adding our parent form that we just got done creating to a new page on our website that looks very similar to the registration page we had on our previous video. We have our team name, team email, and we have our new nested form where we can add users to be registered for our team. So I'll go ahead and fill this out. All right, now we're ready to add our team members. If we click the add entry button, we'll see we're met with this nice modal where we have all of that information that was included in our child form. So if we go ahead and fill this out, all right, and there we go. All of our users' information is filled out, so we can click Add Entry. And there we go. Our new team member shows up in this nice table where we can view the information, edit it, or even delete it. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a few more team members. All right, it looks like Team Shire is all ready to go. We now have four users that have all been added to our nested form that's nested inside of our parent form, and they're all going to be registered once I click Submit. And there we go, we just registered four users at once using only one form. And because we had that box checked under user activation, we can see that each of our users have received an email containing a link that will allow them to activate their account. Note that because this is just a demonstration, it looks like all of the emails went to only one inbox. However, in a real production environment, each of these emails would get sent to the inbox of the user who was registered. Now that's as far as we're going to go in this video, but I can't stress enough how we have barely scratched the surface of what is possible using Gravity Forms nested forms. Let's say your registration has a cost associated with it. You can take this even further by including nested entry totals in your parent form. Not only that, but you can even offer different pricing depending on age or whatever detail you want. You can populate child form fields based on the parent form data, their speed processing, calculation, templating, and so many other features that are included with Gravity Forms nested forms that we won't get to cover in this video. But I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below this video to the documentation for Gravity Forms nested forms for you to check out for yourself. Gravity Forms nested forms has so much to offer and the applications are almost limitless. No matter what your use case is, you now know how to register multiple users using only one form submission. We hope you enjoyed this series on Gravity Forms Better User Activation. If you have any questions or you have a topic that you'd love to see us do a video series like this on, make sure to let us know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.